The second phase of works tackled another straight section of channel and turned it into this. There is variation in depth and meandering flow. as well as more cover for fish. So starting with a blank canvas, it was back to Jeff and his digger to kickstart the process. By carefully spreading the bed material to create depth and new side cast beaches or point bars, a varied and more sinuous channel was created. But this is just an outline. Every Berman feature needs extra help in order to persist. That's why these logs were pinned in place. Not only do they retain the sidebars of cobble and gravel, they also help to retain some deeper water by encouraging localised bed scour and meandering flow. Additional stability was incorporated by planting these sidebars with flag iris and sedge. And following summer plant growth and high flows, the channel is bedding in by autumn. Elsewhere on the sections that were completed another year earlier, there are nice meanders and plentiful plant growth. So for the first time since the habitat had been improved, staff from the Environment Agency and the Wild Trout Trust were keen to see what an electric fishing survey would show. Chub one eight zero. Chub one five seven. Chub one six four. 